Hello everyone, welcome back. Baseball Shorts here, and today we're taking you over to Queens as the Mets take on the Atlanta Braves. In a doubleheader matchup, DeGrom on the mound for Game 1. He collects his 7th win on the year, and he lowers his ERA to a .50. Insane, he's going to win that out Cy Young. Too bad everyone else, he's just DeGromanent. In a 4-2 to win over Atlanta, and they split the series with uh, the Braves as the Ian Anderson gets the win in Game 2 as he shoves for 5 innings. Of course, the 7 inning limit in a doubleheader. And they win one to nothing on the lone man scoring on a home run by none other than Ronald Acuna Jr. He hits his 20th on the year. We'll take you over to now sunny San Diego. Round 3 of a Padres-Dodgers in the NL West showdown. Possibly an NLCS matchup. I would love to see that. Padres win the game 6-2 as Yu Darvish collects his 1,500th strikeout and he is the fastest to do it in his 197th game. Homers and scoring led by Jake Cronenworth and Manny Machado to get the Padres that victory over the Dodgers. I love this series. It's playoff atmosphere every single time these teams match up. In Minnesota, the longest game of 2021, which really isn't the longest game because it was 12 innings, Ends on a walk-off home run by Miguel Sano, his 14th on the year, to beat the Reds 7-5. to Longest game, not really. 12 innings, I just said that, but, you know, it's MLB's rule now to start a runner on second. Hate that rule, by the way. In Arizona, the Diamondbacks finally scratch a win in the win column. Diamondbacks snap their 17-game losing streak with a 5-1 to victory over the Brewers as Merrill Kelly tosses seven innings of allowing one run and striking out five. Some headlines for you. Today is Wander Franco Day. He's making his debut today, and it's going to be a lot of fun to watch that Dominican shortstop make his debut for the Rays as they get some offensive help. This should be interesting. I love watching Wander Franco play. Man's been tearing it up in AAA for the Durham Bulls, so it's going to, he's going to kill it for the Rays. I'm so excited. Jacob DeGrom was checked in the first inning for substance use, foreign substance use on his arm and his hat. Uh, the umpire, in my opinion, just wanted to make a statement for himself, wanted to uh, get some publicity for himself, get him, get himself put on the map as, as, a, as an umpire. Uh, he needed his street credit with all the umpires, especially if he caught Jacob DeGrom. His last five starts, though, DeGrom, he didn't need any of the sticky stuff. He went 27 innings, pitched seven hits, zero runs, three walks, and 43 strikeouts. He's been insane. And the Yankees and Garrett Cole will be taking on Jacob DeGrom and the Mets, I think, come July 2nd or July 3rd. That's how the schedule is supposed to set up, barring any injuries, rain delays. We shall see. The other day, we missed this update, but Jesus Sanchez made his debut the other day for the Marlins versus the Cubs in Wrigley. And he's continued his offensive onslaught as he homered, his, uh, he homered in his, I want to say, second at bat. And it was his first career homer. And congratulations, Jesus, on uh, making it to the show. The guy's been tearing it up in, in I think, double-A, triple-A for the Marlins. So he earned his shot with the Marlins. So I love to see these these young Marlins come up and and, and put on a show for, for the uh, in the NL East. The NL East is going to be one of the top leagues in Major League Baseball. It's going to be fun to watch this going forward as the years go, go on. And uh, all the stars are going in the NL East, not to the Mets. Only, but to the Phillies and to the uh, Braves and possibly to the Marlins, too. They're coming, becoming a contender. Um, well, you know the drill. If you made it this far in the video, leave a like, subscribe. We have a full day of baseball ahead of us. A lot, a lot of baseball. Enjoy the day. God bless. Keep smiling. Keep fighting. And look, Devin Smeltzer, I got your shirt. Uh, catch cancer looking. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Later. See y'all in the next one.